three two okay let's get cracking these are very quick games don't have much time to not make a move you can do a lot of thinking but not making a move your time just drill down real quick and let's go here with the queen seem to have blocked themselves mentally they were going I think they wanted to get the 20 pointer didn't they you know with the let's go with this with us not being able to castle if their queen took our queen let's develop the knight so attacking the pawn let's just go here Bring the bishop out a little bit. It's castle. I'm not too sure because let's go here. It takes, takes. I don't think the bishop's taking them. Nah, it's not taking, obviously. Rook's all jammed in the corner. Ooh, good spot. Let's see if we can create some problems for them. Rook can escape, obviously, so he's going to have to do that. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, what do we have? We must have something. That's a small piece attack and a higher piece. Bishop's attacking our knight, so let's attack the rook and the pawn. And the pawn. <laughs> Bishop's looking for this pawn here. Alright, so is the rook in a good place? Is it. I mean, we could go here, getting a higher piece off the board. What do we think? Go up here. go there it just brings the rook across then we can take the bishop off the board okay let's go like that or does it just go up to defend the bishop if it goes up to defend the bishop we do have an x-ray through oops x-ray through with the bishop so our knight could go somewhere could take maybe just to get the rook off the board that's probably a very bad work order here actually because his knight's going to be able to take anyway i'm not too sure and he's on our rook as well with his bishop so this is all messed up i'm going to end up being less pieces down or more pieces down yeah that's not worked that's not worked <laughs> that's not worked at all oh dear me let's go here try and be sly didn't work at all did it oh my god all right it took so long over that bishop's probably just gonna block his block us in <laughs> oh that was totally messed up you can afford to trade down now how can I have no pieces left you'll have a knight a bishop and a rook Oh, sorry, not the rook. If he goes there, no, I think I've just been a bit greedy now. But 
they're being a bit arty now. I could have finished this. <laughs> draw. Uh, just, yeah, I'm so happy with the draw there because we were getting. Uh, let's just have a look at the beginning of this. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Okay, let's let's dive in. I think we made some. I think potential errors in judgment. <laughs> Oh, that was just crazy. We just got carried away with ourselves. Look at this night move here. But again, it goes to this particular game proves the point of you just got to keep going. If you keep going, you practice practicing your game. It does strengthen it. It might look ugly. It might feel really bad. But depending on how the opponent is playing. If they're playing like a normal human, a no, us normal folk, you know, not super GMs or anything like that, any fantastical type brain type things, and you're just playing normal human folk, we're going to make human mistakes. And the game of chess then becomes really complicated when we're trying to simplify it. So this is this game here really identifies that. Um, I'd made an error um, thinking I was being clever with my... Um, x-ray through to the rook thinking yes i'm winning the position but then on after looking stuff i'm losing pieces all over the place so how on earth i got back from this 
I do not know. I mean, it's plus eight, plus nine for the opponent. So we didn't have a, a chance. And this particular moment really is where, when I said, I think they're getting a bit too arty. You know, the bishop coming down, getting a little bit too arty and then coming back up again. They didn't need to do any of that. All they, to me, all I did mention it in the game. I mean, all they need to do is put, go here, don't they? And then they're reducing down the pieces. Maybe they weren't confident with having, you know, the bishops and the knights working against the rook. I'm not sure, but anyway, so they come through and then we're just jostling. Just we're just waiting for the, the hatchet to hatchet to drop, really. Um, but now I'm feeling well. We could maybe get an equalisation here. Now he's just got the knight and the bishops, but we're going to have to work at it. It all depends on what the opponent does. So we can take pawns off the board. Gauge bar's working for us a little bit, but not so much. And didn't really know what to do with the rook at that point. And I'm thinking, right, this is the moment. And I don't think I did the best move here, but we started pushing the pawn, looking to see whether we can get it up to get promoted. At least we're getting a piece off the board. So now I am in my head thinking, I'm just going to have to sacrifice the rook at some point in order for me to get these pawns pushed up. And that worked okay. And gauge bars plus two-ish still, so they still could have won. But I'm believing in my skills and ability to deal with this type of end game as best possible. And it is showing a draw at this point in time. So I'm happy. Just keep on pushing, knowing full well they're not going to get to the top because the bishop's just going to take it off the board. And that's how you drag out a draw from a totally losing position. It ain't lost until it's lost, you know, just keep on fighting away. That's the whole idea. Casual chess, anything can happen.